Local injured workers are demanding the Ford government do more to help them get the compensation they deserve. The Thunder Bay and District Injured Workers Support Group held a rally outside MPP Kevin Holland's office today to draw attention to the struggles they continue to face. Mitchell Ringos was there. Members of the Thunder Bay and District Injured Workers Support Group say life has become unaffordable for injured workers. They're calling on the Ford government to raise benefits and ensure workers get what they're owed. Like, I mean, I remember the first time I finally, I phoned them and I said, if I've got one package of meat in my freezer, I have to go back to work. I'm not healed. And I went back to work and I mean, it turned out I was working with a broken back. About a dozen people rallied outside MPP Kevin Holland's office on Monday afternoon, waving signs, performing a small skit about injured workers and singing Christmas carols. The group met with Holland beforehand. Treasurer relays that conversation. We're asking for his support on a few different issues. The one certainly around the cost of living, the issue of bringing reality into the process so that people's actual experience in terms of employment, in terms of wage losses, is, is documented and compensated so that it's not this make-believe system anymore, it's based on the actual experiences of the workers who become disabled at work. The Ontario Network of Injured Workers groups will also deliver hundreds of letters outlining the demands of injured workers and organizations across Ontario to the Minister of Labour. Some of our traditional demands really about creating that fairness and balance in the system is we're asking them to bring that back and compensate workers for their actual losses. And Bill 57, which was sponsored by NDP and PP Wayne Gates, was presented to the legislature on December 7th and passed first reading. And Manta says they also brought this up with Holland and hope he will get the Ford government to pass this bill or introduce anti-deeming legislation of its own. Mitchell Ringos, TBT News.